good morning. It's TGIF for everyone. And you're busy for your next subject. That's okay. Um, today we are going to have an awarding of certificates to those to those top performers that you picked and I personally picked. But before that, since you are done with this final performance task, I'd like you to tell your classmates or your seatmates, congrats, you did it. Okay, congrats, you did it. I know it wasn't an easy task. Not all students can conquer their fear to stand in front and to deliver or to do the public speaki speaking thing. So, but before I'll announce the top three picks that you have chosen, I want to give you an unsolicited advice first because I have come across with this article uh, in the health section of CNN Philippines by Madeline Holcombe. This year's top health-related Google searches are in and COVID-19 is nowhere to be found. That's surprising that we don't longer search COVID-19 in 2022. So what do we search in 2022? What did we search rather? What do you think? About? A lot of your classmates actually talked about this. Not actually a lot, but I think five of your classmates talked about this issue. Mental health. Okay. Number one is about workout. So a lot of people, people are still conscious with their physique. But the second top searches or the second top search is coping with difficult emotions so google users ask how to handle stress how to stop a panic attack how to cure depression focus with adhd and so on so an advice that i learned from sky and chris while listening to their podcast is we have to take a moment she they said that we keep on moving forward and we tend not to stop so today we will take a moment of your achievement sometimes we tend to keep on moving forward like now so after performance what's next it's going to be the exam after exam i have to prepare for the second sem hello after exam you have to celebrate your small wins you conquer your your first semester senior high school journey so since you you are done with the final task we have to celebrate your small wins small wins are worth celebrating because this will give you your moments or your momentum to work harder for your next challenges okay so without much ado i know you're excited and we're running out of time. Um, if you didn't get a certificate, don't feel bad. It's okay. You have to celebrate for the wins of the others. You are still a winner because you are done with the final performance task. Perhaps your classmates are looking for other things. Perhaps they want you to prepare more. And perhaps they didn't see the best in you yet. But I am sure that you will have your time soon. Okay? So, kanya-kanyang oras lang yan. So for the final pick, um, I personally chose this. 
Though it was not a perfect um, performance, but I believe um, he prepared, he, she prepared for, <laughs> he, she prepared for this task. And among the class, I think he, she nailed it. Okay? And that is, you got it right. Aldred Jamil Idos. Okay? Congratulations, Aldred. Minemorize ni Aldred from beginning to end, no? Wala, hindi to naguhugas ng pinggan siguro sa bahay nila. Uh, actually, nagdadalawang isip pa ako, LGBT ang topic ni Aldred, baka sabihin bias ako. But, Hearing your names from your classmates, I think I did the right decision. Congratulations. You nailed it. Okay. Iwagay, why ang bandila? This universe. Okay. Um, again, whether you receive a certificate or not, you have to celebrate your small wins. And celebrate your small wins in your own way. You can, it's, it's, it's a simple 30-minute break. O kaya ay eating egg waffle or quick quick in the plaza or taking a nap. Mga ganun lang yung, yung taking a moment ninyo or celebrating your small wins. It matters. Wag, wag kayong masyadong push nang push sa sarili niyo na oh what's next what's next what's next what's next ma burn out kayo at ma stress kayo mas lalo okay so you still have 4 minutes do your writing for the next subject i will give your grades and my general comments on monday we have a lot of time and then hopefully i can invite someone from other sections and hopefully you will be inspired to not to be like them but to benchmark from them to be their model for your future public speaking engagement i know this is just the beginning you will have more public speaking engagement soon okay so thank you so much see you on friday bye i sorry ang dami dami kong iniisip kasi pasensya na see you monday yeah